live on Twitch and YouTube. And what's up, guys? It's Marty here from Nintendo Dads. It's Friday night fun time, and we are about to get into a little bit of an unreleased game for Nintendo Switch. It's coming out uh, here this next week on January the 31st. It is called Scale Boy, and it is by Umaiki Games. And I've been playing it for a little bit of a week now, a little, probably less than a week actually, um, and put a little bit of time into it. But I think that uh, if you're a fan of Paper Mario, if you're a fan of Zelda, if you're a fan of uh, Final Fantasy Adventure, that old Game Boy game that's kind of like adventure slash, um, let's see, how would I describe this? Adventure slash action RPG, then you're going to be pleasantly surprised by Scale Boy. And so uh, that's why we wanted to show it off tonight. It is uh, a game that we were given a review code for, but it was also a game that I was really excited about Ow. when it got shown off. Adjustment. And for those of you who are watching, thank you for tuning in. This is the first time that I'm streaming on this device, and so I can't see comments. Unfortunately, I can't see anything that's that's going on. Uh, but I do uh, want to uh, engage you guys. Uh, I'm not really that great at streaming, but if you're watching uh, and you're there, just uh, maybe. Type in the chat there. I do have it pulled up on my computer right now, and I'll be swiping back and forth between there. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in. You can see there is my uh, a game on slot one. I've been just over three hours, and uh, we'll start a brand new game for you guys. Particularly, what I'm looking for for feedback is, you know, am I too low? Is the music too too loud? Things like that. Um, and really, whether you're enjoying the game or not. So. Uh, but let's let's uh, get in here to uh, Scale Boy. The game starts uh, doesn't have that much story, but again, Zelda esque um, action with um, Paper Mario style graphics, and yeah, I, I I think you're really gonna like this game if you have enjoyed those games in the past. And so we're starting up here, Fabraz Umaiki Games. Here comes the story. It's a play. Blockman. Butler Chester. What an honor to have you here. Thanks for your visit. Oh, how sweet. Welcome to the Cubold Kingdom. My name is Chester. I'm one of Grandice's butler. He gave me a message of great importance. Let's see here. This is going to kind of set the game up. Dear Underdice, my upright royal, royal wizard, Sir Squaremon, decided to summon hordes of monsters in the undead. Apparently he had no other choice after he stood up for a date by my successor, Princess Zoletta. Zoletta. <laughs> this is very sad and will bring a lot of disturbances, monster attacks, and destruction. Seek shelter. So everybody's getting in the shelter and Fluffy Beard tells them to do that. And so basically this is the start of the game. And the story of Scale Boy is that when Squirrelmon resurrects all this all these monsters, he actually accidentally resurrects uh, Scale Boy as well. And uh, you know, him being an undead skeleton, that happens and here come the zombies, they look cute, but they're terrible. And yes, all of them all of the characters in this game are supposed to be dice. So we're going to check this out. I'm going to probably play through the first little bit of it for you so that you can see. This kind of showing what's going on. There's the king. He's running from the zombies. Zombies are everywhere. There's, you know, ravens attacking. There's orcs with clubs. They're attacking because, you know, everything's terrible. There's some mice, some bats, a statue that shoots flaming fireballs out of its eye. Those are terrible, by the way. Skill 
boy. And guess what? Here we are. I love the art on this. And you guys, if you've listened to or watched Nintendo Dad stuff for a long time, you know that I'm a huge fan of pixel art and retro stuff. And this is just... Yeah, I love it. So I'm crawling because right now, you'll notice I'm just a body and a head. And that's one of the cool things about this game is you're actually going to be able to switch out your body parts as you go along. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pick up these bony feet. So now I can jump. But uh, later on, I'll be able to switch out my body. I'll be able to switch out my head, my feet. And each of those come with different things that they do for you. Uh, added defense, added life, added speed or detracted speed and everything. So we'll go up here and we'll pick up the cardboard sword. And there's your first enemies. Zombies. And you can see you press Y to attack, so we'll just head over here. And they don't die very easy. In fact, uh, most items in the game, like this, take three hits to kill an enemy. One of the things I really love about this game is the visuals. Uh, you know, you kind of get this top down, kind of like Zelda, but then you're going to see here, yeah, see how the camera pans around? I'm not doing that. That's actually coming uh, from the, the level itself as we move around. By the way, graves are save points, so you'll want to check those out a lot during the game. And you'll kind of see here as we go the way this kind of turns and moves. It's almost like a little puzzle box type thing. Um, and to me, you know, originally playing it gave out a, it gave off a very Paper Mario vibe. So if you're a fan of that series, I think that uh, this is a, like a shoe in for you to, to to find something here that you really really like. There's some knights, and they're going to be run off by the zombies because hey, knights are even taking cover, right? Up in the top left-hand corner, you'll see that I've got two health, uh, and I've got uh, my cardboard sword there, and there's slots for more weapons. Well, you pick those up as you go along in the game. As the game progresses, you're going to find more weapons, like a club, an axe, a lance, and a weapon I haven't found yet. So, yeah. Now, do you get experience in this game? No, absolutely not, but I really like clearing out the levels. Now see here, I can pick up the zombie's head and use it as my own. And when I press start, I can see, does it do almost no production? In fact, it even drains health from it. So I'm going to put that down. But picking up new costume parts actually adds them to a collection that you can go through the game and pick up. And uh, eventually you'll, you'll have access to all of your costumes at once and all of your weapons. Uh, and, you know, Use my head with X. I wonder what this one does. Oh, I can throw a lot of zombies. Well, I'm going to do that. I want to kill these zombies. Because I'm a good skeleton. And eventually you'll be able to pick up zombie bottoms as well and complete that outfit. So, let's see if we can get through this door. That's a negative. So we've got to find another way out of here, and I can you know, break these hay bales and get some life if I need it. It says here, please do not destroy. Oops. One thing about this game, too, that I really enjoy is all of the music. I think that uh, the chiptune soundtrack is, is really cool. Um, here in the beginning, it can be a little bit repetitive, but later on, it really some of the, the levels that are, you know, underground and things, I feel like it really adds to them. So, nothing down here. Just wanted to check and be sure. Let's head over this way. Might somebody be there? And this is going to be... Uh, there's going to be a couple times in the game where you get to make a choice. This is one of those. <laughs> Guys in the stocks. Uh, the poor bugger. <laughs> uh, what, who are you, Obox? 
first to get beaten up and captured by those uh, horned guys and what's next and undead picking my bones. Is that how I will end? Please just let me be. So I can free him or kill him. Kill him. Do it. Alright, uh, no, we'll free him. How about that? Because I'm a good skeleton. We'll free him. Well, thanks to the cube in the sky for my rescue, but why you? Ah, uh, who cares? My mom was right. I don't have enough edges or shoulders thing. Here, have this. And he gives you a sword. Now, originally when I came through the game, I chose to kill him and you get his helmet. But here, I have just gotten the Iron Blade. Comes with a slower two-hit combo. And you see it has plus, plus sword. So that means it's a little bit more powerful than the cardboard sword. That is a weapon that I had never found before. So, I'm already breaking the ground on this stream. For those of you who are watching and saying, well, it does look a little jerky, that is not the stream. That is actually the game. And I would say that that is the only negative that I've found about the game so far, is that the frame rate can take a dip in a few places. Uh, especially, like, you know, when you're, I don't know, when there's a lot of things on the screen at once. Uh, I've noticed it, it taking a dip there. But for the most part, it's not like taken away from the game at all. Ah. Hay bale for a body. Concentrated crop energy. So it does nothing. And if I switch back here, uh, it does nothing. Uh, later on in the game, there will be a time where we actually do have to have a rip gauge uh, for a quest. And at that point, actually when I found out I could go uh, you can you can use a key to unlock this grave eventually and go in there from that point forward and get a hold of your stuff <coughs> excuse me so we'll pull this and now you'll notice we're back in the theater where we started the game and now we've dropped the drawbridge so we can actually get out and Actually, you're gonna, this is kind of the central point of the game. You're going to come back here and be able to get through and go to several places. These are terrible, by the way. Do not like them. <coughs> and uh, here we're going to find our way to this little maze while they spit at us. Yuck. Can't do that. That is an actually a vine, and later on we'll be able to come back and cut that down. And in my game, that, that might be where I'm at. Eventually you get access to the axe, or as it's called in this game, axe caliber. And you're able to come back and cut down vines. But the vines are actually enemies that you have to fight when you cut them down. Actually, really, really annoying. And as you go through the game, you'll also notice, too, that the save points get fewer and farther between. Let's go up this way. Loading up a little bit here. Here is the princess's ball gown. It looks like she has died, unfortunately. That is not good. This is the princess Zoletta supposed to be saving. Hopefully she did not die. That would be terrible. And there are our zombie bottoms. Zombie leftovers. That's actually what they're called. And for that, you're immune against poison. Uh, you lose one life cube, though. I don't want that, though. I want my life cube back. I don't like my life. Princess's ball gown. Bony feet, 
Arctic Skull. I've just got the princess's ball gown over. Kind of like a costume. Kind of like a, yeah. You know. Now, I could not get through this way before, but now I can open the doors, so now I've unlocked that exit from the theater. Knock down those turd witches, and now we're, we're heading on. Maybe there's some, yes, we can get some help out here. It is very important to always be on the lookout for health in this game, because later on, uh, enemies get quite rampant, and we're getting our first extra weapon pickup here. I've got the lance, and you see I can hold it above my head and hold down Y and throw it. Problem is I have to go pick it up after that. It's a large pencil. I do not think that I am going to do as, enough, as much damage with the lance as I am with the iron sword, so I'm going to stick with it. Right. Head down to the swamp. Or we can go to the farm. We can't do anything at the farm yet, so the swamp is the way to go. And we're going to get introduced to a brand new enemy right here the horrible mushroom. When he jumps near you, he will put out a cloud of gas that will poison you. Because, you know, why? Why not? Because mushrooms are in this game are turds, that's why. But I get the shroom slippers. And they are... They sporulate every jump. Oh, so they slow down enemies. I'm gonna keep that. I've never gotten those before. That also is a brand new uh, weapon. So I can go up here, and I can go to these thickets here and get some health. There's also a knight here. And he thinks you're the princess. He lost something in the wheat. What did you lose? Nothing, apparently. And back here, you'll notice there are some... Soldier's boots, not back reduction from attacks. I think I'll keep those. Yeah. So, what about right here? Oh, I can't go that way. Cool. So keep on going, keep on going. Now we're actually going into the swamp area. So there's lots of resistance here. Probably the, my least favorite in the game. Except for later on, there's some zombies that throw up, and those are the worst. And the extra poison mushrooms, which are green instead of red, those are turrets too. Oh, mushroom head. Crazy shrooms, wearing a head makes you sleepy and forgets your sorrows. Once the eyes are closed, everyone thinks to wear is an ordinary shroom. Oh. I'll just stick with the skeleton. Cool with that. See, I think if they should, if they can throw their seeds over, I think that they should be, I should be able to jump over the fences, but I can't. that coming. And I died. That's why you save your game, folks. That was not smart. Maybe I should have gotten the shroom hat. Yeah. Probably should have, because now i got to start all the way back up here. But you'll notice I still have my night boots, right? So you do not lose some of the upgrades you get sometimes if you have to play through the game. And there's actually some plot points that if you've completed something, you just have to go back to the area that you were last in before you died. And the, and everything's still completed. So that's nice, at least. They, they take it easy on you just a little bit there. I'm going to end up dying again. I'm so used to, like, in my game, having six or seven boxes at a time.
I forget, having to be careful. What is that? What is that? The mycelium, the fungal filament, strings of furry white material. Skilled knitters use it. I don't, okay, I don't know why I have it. I'm not a, really? Really? Okay. I promise you guys, I'm not normally as bad at video games as this. <laughs> Maybe I do need the shroom hat. That's Now I can't get it. I gotta wait for it. Look, you big turd. Come on. And there is much wisdom in this game I've learned about waiting for enemies to, or finding a way around them, that you don't always have to fight every enemy. You can kind of maybe, like here, I'm just going to kind of charge through and go get these things out of the way and then wait for them to come to me. And that will give me, you know, the ability to kill them. And I'm going to just go around this mushroom. Bye. See you, Brosif. I don't like you. Oh, I hate the spitting plants. Okay, so now this is what I'm concerned about. Because there's... Look at that. There is a ton of those mushrooms right there. And, yeah, see? So let's do this. For real, it did not, like, the first time I came through here, it did not do that. There, there were not that many of them. Or maybe I just charged through. I don't know. It's a little ridiculous. Let's let's just be honest. There are some times when, like, I, and I've noticed this in the late game, too, that there are difficulty spikes in this game that make no sense. Um, like, they let you have this really cool armor for a long while, and then they decide that they're going to make you go through a section where you only get four life again. Because you have to use the, uh, the rib cage. So, I mean, like, I get, I get it story-wise, but I don't get it as far as functionality, right? And so here's what I'm going to do. Like, I've been meaning to remember this. There is a save point right here. And I can go all the way around that. Look at that. And what we're doing is we're actually going over here and we're going to fight our first boss who is like this big um, like lizard thing that you're going to go in here and gonna be like, oh, it's the princess. Yay. And it's like, oh, where'd the princess go? Oh, well, that's not the princess after all. It's this it's eyeball beast. And yeah. Who conveniently has a platform on his back. Right? So what we're gonna do is you gotta get over there and you gotta cut off his eyes. And then he does cut down these spores, and stuff comes out, and it's not really that great. I feel like this was not as hard first time around. But also, I think it's because... Oh, gosh. I think it's because you weren't watching. That's totally what it was. You, you guys weren't watching. So... But I, at least I can start back here, right? With full life, too. I did not have full life when I back in there last time. So let's keep going. What I should have done was notice these, right? Let's, let's go. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Can I go ahead and cut one of your things off? But let's get on this. Because guess what? You're going to pick me up, and I'm going to cut one of your eyeballs off. Already. What do you think about it, big boy? Yeah, come on. Stay right there. All right, let's do this. He'll stay right there. This fight can uh, keep going ahead and be over. Yep, two of them. That's all. That's all he's got left. See now he's gonna move close enough to get it. 
and that in and of itself is one of the hardest things, but now I'm gonna get, gonna get over here and get stuck, or he flattens the stuff. And now I gotta go use a jump or a hustle. Just, uh, come on. First damage I've taken. Alright, come down here. Yeah, come on. Ah! But guess what? You're dead. You're done, son. Let's do it. You're dead. Yeah, go cry. That's fine. Well, now you're making me feel bad. But, hey, it's the princess's wig. I am princess hair. A, pr a wig, hopefully. The princess of the kingdom has beautiful hair, so beautiful that everyone believes having just one strand will bring good luck, but it probably won't. That's, that's funny. And I'm a skeleton princess. Hey. Oh, they think I'm the princess. Walk through the swamp to the forest, and before you enter the labyrinth, you should stumble upon a door that leads to the right. And that is where you will find the castle. That you need to go to. Okay, look. You two turds. Get out of here. Alright. Up out of the swamp. And hopefully, thankfully, that is the only time in the game that you have to go to the swamp. I don't know why. I just like it. I am not a fan of swamp levels. Like, all green and nasty and probably full of bugs and diseases and I'm not in for that. Let's go get some health over here. You gotta remember where that health is. And go back down and we will continue the quest onward to the castle, I believe. Swamp. Oh yes, let's save it. And then yeah, to the castle. He said that we'll find a door to the right sometime before we get to maybe that's what he means. It's like over here. Well that's his farm. But but who knows? No, that see that's vine stuff over there. And that's near where the axe is, so I know that I'm not supposed to go that way. Because I can't pick up the axe yet, because only the king, only the grand dice can pick up the, the, the axe caliber. Right? So, this is the arena. I haven't been there yet in my game either. So, let's go down here. I said there would be a door on the right before you get to the maze. So, I think that what they mean is back in the theater, there is a place that said no skeletons. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Take shelter here. Don't succumb to the apocalypse. No one did. Wow. Get lost. Hey, it's the princess. There you go. They just let me right in. Even though I'm a skeleton. Like, it's very obvious that I'm a skeleton. Right? I love it when it switches to the view like this sometimes. This crisis will be over soon. No. It's the butler. I'm not Princess Oletta. There's... Room. Another room? need to jump down into the dungeon. And you know what? There really is no need to jump down into the dungeon because hopefully by now 
you guys have seen whether or not Scaleboy is for you. Again, this launches on January 31st on Nintendo Switch, and I highly recommend it. I think that uh, if you're a fan of action adventure RPGs, if you're a fan of Paper Mario uh, and other games that are like that, you've pretty much seen combat. There is a little bit of an armor and item system based off of what you're able to get, as well as some funny dialogue and great music, and it's all wrapped up into a charming package that uh, reviewers are saying takes around 10 to 12 hours to finish, not to 100%. Of course, that would be a little bit more for you to get all the costumes and everything, because some of them are just random drops. Uh, as you saw. And so, guys, this has been Scaleboy from Umaki Games, and I want to thank you for tuning in to our stream and watching all of our videos over here on Nintendo Dads. Thank you so much for checking out everything we do. New podcasts every Friday on your favorite podcast service. We'd love for you to check that out and listen to us, or head on over to patreon.com backslash Nintendo Dads and back us on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. You get access to our Discord feed and all kinds of cool stuff over there. Even uh, more rewards and more things on up all the way through. And so thanks guys for watching uh, and thanks for hanging out for this Let's Play of Scaleboy. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.